Research at NUS Medicine will play a very important role in helping Singapore address our major healthcare issues uh, in the coming years. Because of its importance, the school has prioritised our effort towards medical research in key areas by developing research programs as well as developing research centres and also research infrastructure that actually are core facilities to help to support these programs and research efforts to actually enable us to uh, fulfil our mission of doing impactful research that will help in medical progress and improving the outcome of our patients. NUS Medicine has played very diverse roles during this pandemic. In addition to providing volunteers and clinicians to help look after the patients in the dorms and in the wards, uh, we were also at the forefront of clinical and basic science research. Well, the Infectious Disease Translational Research Program here at NUS runs one of the most sophisticated biosafety level 3 laboratories in the region. Now, this is a high security laboratory which has lots of safeguards in place which allows us to work safely with highly dangerous pathogens and novel pathogens that we know nothing about. We have the ability to take a vaccine into the lab to study how it behaves in cells in the test tube and then to take it to animals to demonstrate its safety and efficacy before bringing it to human volunteers at the Investigational Medicine Unit right here. So the other part of our research today is we keep a very uh, keen eye on what other people are doing elsewhere in the same research space as us. It's also a kind of a community where we're building and running towards a goal where we can find out, uh, you know, getting to the bottom of a lot of mysteries that still surround um, something as uh, well known as heart disease. I have quite a number of grad, uh, PhD grad students in our lab, occasionally master students, not none right now, uh, but we also have quite a number of FYP, the final year students that come from science, also some medical students who intern in our lab. It's inspiring talking to the students, them for me and me to them also, the young energy they have. On average, we live to 82 years. And of these 82 years in old age, we experience 8 years in ill health. To spend 8 years in ill health is a long time and it's very tough for the old folks and their families, especially their caregivers. So in SG70, we plan to study the process of ageing in this vulnerable period. We hope to discover scientific evidence which can become the basis for interventional studies to promote healthy living in the future. I spend significant amount of my time interacting with the users. Users as defined as the people or stakeholders responsible in translating my eventual research outcomes. This stage is important because we want to identify what is the problem at hand and whether research is the solution. Then we will bring it back to discuss with my team members and ensure that the design of the experiments will have the highest chance of translation. We also look at more innovative solutions, often with principal investigators of other disciplines, you know, to come up with good solutions for the same problems we have at hand. 